Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much. I would love to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. And once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway on my channel. So go ahead and just hit that subscribe button now so you can be a part of that giveaway. But let's just jump right into today's video. For today's video, we are doing a two week tent camping trip. And so I'm just showing you guys what it looks like to set up a campsite for two weeks. Now we've been doing this for 12 years and our campground that we go to has electricity and water hookups and there are no bears. So you have to just consider those things once you see everything that we do and everything that we set up. And the reason we bring so much is because we are out here for two weeks. Now I am going to do another video for you guys showing you what I'm going to just leave at home next year and what I am going to purchase to make it a little bit more functional and that's something I do every year. I kind of figure out what works, what didn't work and I'm still not to the point even after 12 years to where I you know, absolutely love my setup and that's only because my husband and I buy things slowly. We have never just gone out and bought every single thing we need for camping all at once. We can't really afford to do that, but we love camping. And so basically what I do is every year I just buy a few new things. So it has taken time to build what I have now, but there are still some things I would love to tweak to it. But hopefully this gives you some inspiration and some motivation if you're planning a tent camping trip. And just remember that even though there are some things I want to change, we have been doing this for 12 years. So don't look at all the stuff I have and think that you need all of this stuff when you go camping. You don't. Our first camping trip, all we had was a tent, an air mattress, a cooler, a Coleman stove, and two camping chairs and a lantern. And that was it. And that's really all you need. But, you know, since we've been doing this for so long, it, you know, it looks a uh, it looks like we have a lot, which we do, <laughs> but it's because we've collected it over time. But I'm gonna just jump right into this video. If you have any comments, please leave them down below and let's just get right into this video. Love you guys.
All right, now the reason I'm gonna explain the bed setup to you first is because if this is all that you're able to invest in, then that is totally perfect. I feel like everything beyond this point is just kind of extra. So you can pick and choose what you would want after I show you the bed setup. But even this isn't totally necessary. You can always just buy a blow up air mattress and sleep on that. But this is just something we wanted to invest in because we knew that we'd be camping for two weeks. And so we wanted to be comfortable. So let me show you. All right, so the first thing that we have here All right, so, <laughs> and like I said, please excuse any background noise. The guys actually just got back from fishing, so you'll probably hear some background noise. But basically, what you're gonna want are two cots. Now, if it's just you, then you will obviously only need one cot, but for my husband and I, we got two, I, I, I believe these are large cots, but I will definitely link these down below. You can get them off Amazon and we just bud them up next to each other. <laughs> and then we got REI self-inflating air mattresses, and I will link these down below for you as well. But any self-inflating air mattress for a cot size, for the size of your cot, is great. So we got two of these, and we purchased these off of Facebook Marketplace for really inexpensive. So that's something I would recommend for you to do for some of those bigger priced items look on Craigslist, look on OfferUp, look on Facebook Marketplace because you'd be surprised. Sometimes people only go camping once and they find out they don't like it, but then they have all of this really expensive camping gear that they'll sell at a discounted price. And then we got two memory foams. So I found these at Bargain Hunt, which is like a discounted big wholesale store, I think. But you can find these off of Amazon, and I will try to link them down below. So one is two inch, and one is one inch. So combined, they equal three inches. So that's what I would recommend for total comfort is three inch memory foam bed topper to put on top of your self-inflating mattress, on top of your cot. And I feel like I'm sleeping at home with this setup. It's so comfortable, and especially if you have back problems, it just, you wanna make sure you're taking care of your back while you're camping so you could be totally rested and relaxed. And then what I do is I take this fitted king size bed sheet and I just fold it over both of the cots. And that's something that I would recommend. It's better to be safe than sorry with cots. So if you're getting two, just get a king, a fitted king size bed sheet. And it might droop a little bit or be a little bit big, but it's better for it to be a little bit big than too small. And then obviously if it's just a single, then I would just say just get a single bed sheet. And that is our camping bed setup. And then I just got um, this duvet cover to fit over an older comforter that we already had. And I will link this duvet cover down below for you. And that goes with the decor in my home. So this is a comforter that I can use on our bed at home when we're not camping. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna kind of explain this corner to you, which I know that it's kind of messy and not fully organized. I have been camping for 12 years and I feel like every year I find things that I don't like or things that I would like to change to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for the next year. But we have never gone out and bought all of our camping stuff all at once. We buy things slowly, so I think because of that, you know, I don't have the perfect organized setup the way I would eventually like to, but I feel like for now it's pretty good and I'm just kind of honestly learning this year to be content with things not looking perfect or being perfect or not Pinterest worthy or something that I can't necessarily create this beautiful, you know, YouTube thumbnail with. I just want to be realistic and so if you're looking at this thinking this just looks like a disorganized mess, I would say I agree with you, but this is what we're working with and I'm going to just explain everything to you. Basically all I did was I stacked two of these crates on top of each other and then I got baskets that I already had and I just slid them into these crates. I used this to house like just those miscellaneous items in your tent that you kind of need to grab on hand and that's going to be different for everybody but like I have some of my dogs grooming stuff in here because I've been grooming him 
in the evenings and then I have some disinfectant spray for our mattresses and my dog's bed and I have our ponchos and I have some cough drops because I actually got sick like the next day we got here. I've Today's the first day I've been feeling a little bit better so that's why I wanted to finish this video. <laughs> but yeah, I've got the cough drops. So yeah, just random stuff. And then one thing I would recommend when you're camping is getting lights that are battery operated. It just makes it so much easier to, instead of trying to figure out like where to plug something up in. Even though our campsite does have electricity hookups, I don't want to have to plug everything up. So I actually got this at Target and it requires AA batteries and I just turn it on. There's a little switch and it's like a little night light at nighttime. And then I also have this portable diffuser. This is battery operated. And so I, sometimes I'll put this on while I'm in my tent studying during the day. And that's that's been really nice. And then another new thing I got for this year that I really like is this bag. And it holds all of my study materials. So I always like to bring books with me when I'm camping to read. So it has all my books, my pens, and then I just keep my journals outside of it. But I really like this. And then I have this little light to clip to my books at night time for when I want to read which is really nice it comes in handy and then I also have my little trash can set up right here you'll be surprised how much you're gonna use a trash can when you camp in your tent so I've got my trash can and then we have our portable heater here because it does get a little bit chilly at night time and we just plug that up because like I said we do have electricity so that's this side of the tent <laughs> and then right here on the floor we have an 8x10 carpet and this is a carpet that we used to have in our living room at home and we replaced it with a new one and so now we just like to use this one when we're camping and then I always like to keep a boxed fan for when I'm sleeping during the day or in the evening times and then I have my luggage right here and then this is my dog's crate now he does not sleep in a crate he normally sleeps at the foot of our bed but this is nice to have a crate while we're camping if we need to you know go run an errand and we need to put him in there and then it's also nice because it gives my husband somewhere to put his luggage and he's a little bit taller so it's nice having it elevated off the ground and then we've got just got some extra bath towels there and some extra blankets because sometimes it gets a little bit chillier than we expected so that's that little setup and then I also went ahead and put some floor mats down there to protect the floor of the tent from the dog crate this is one of my favorite new purchases for this year. These are two separate hampers, and I like them because they have lids on them. So that way, if anybody wants to come and look inside of our tent, they don't have to look at our dirty laundry. It's covered, it's closed, and so I love that. And I think these two will be great for two weeks worth of dirty clothes. And I got these at Ikea. I will try to find them and link them down below for you. And then I just keep Bruno's toys and some of his sprays in here so that's Bruno's little toy basket right here is all of my toiletry stuff which I still haven't figured out a great system for this but I do really love that bag right there is my husband's toiletry bags and then that that one and that one right there are mine this is my makeup bag slash like all of my other miscellaneous beauty products that I like to use in the morning in my tent and then this one right here has all of my shower items so I just take that to the shower with me and then I've got a few miscellaneous things right there but I think next year I'm gonna figure out a way to kind of like organize that better so it doesn't just look like a bunch of bags I'm not having to carry a bunch of bags to the bathroom with me when I go to shower but that's what we're working with right now. And if you're wondering where I plug everything up at, it's in this power strip right here. So I would highly recommend getting a couple of power strips if you're camping on a site that has electricity hookups. Here on the roof, I have clipped little fairy lights. And I just use these white clips to clip them to the clips that are already on the tent. But basically, let me turn it on and show you. So I've got this remote here. I'm gonna just turn it on. And then I like for that setting, it has different settings, but it's hard to tell during the day. But it's just like a really soft, pretty light. And this is so beautiful at nighttime. It's all lit up. 
especially if it's raining at night time it's just so pretty with the lights so it's nice to have a well-lit tent in the evening times so really just my little night light over there and then these are perfect and we also like to keep a flashlight on hand in my bedside table now but I'm gonna go ahead and just roll the front of the canopy up so we can see the inside of the kitchen All right, you guys, I love this canopy. We've had a couple of days of rain and no rain has gone inside of our kitchen at all. This canopy is worth every penny that we spent on it. And it's nice because it has windows in the back there and as well on the sides, so we can see outside. We're not just enclosed into a canopy. So I really like that. So let me just show you inside of our kitchen. Hi, Bruno. Say hello. Do you like camping, Bruno? <laughs> All right, so like I said, my husband's making lunch, so we've got some food out right now, but we'll just start on the right side and we'll work our way to the left. And like I said, you know, it's not totally perfect, but this is kind of what we're working with this year. And you know, every year I like to make new improvements. So hopefully, like I said, in the beginning, we'll be able to take some ideas and then some things, you know, you'll be able to kind of improve upon I'm sure so this right here is my Cabela's camping kitchen so let's take a closer look all right so the Cabela's deluxe camping kitchen which I'm not sure that they make this style anymore they actually make a new one that has a sink built into it which I think is super awesome and I will try to find it and link it down below for you but I love this one, I've had it for years, and I like it because it has the two canvas bags, so one of them is open right now, and what we like to do is we like to store all of our food and all of our cooking utensils that we need for cooking meals in, in these two bags, and it's plenty of space for at least three people, if not more. I think a large family can use this and get a ton of use out of it, and it be super functional, so, I love it so much. It's just great because this campground that we camp at has no bears at all. And so we're able to leave all of our food in these bags overnight. And we have never had a problem all of the years we've gone camping. So if you're at a campground that does not have bears, it's great for that reason too because it gives you something to store your food in, which I like that part of it. And then it has this middle section where I've put two three drawer compartments they're extra large this is from sterilite and i like to house all of our miscellaneous items in it like these are all of our forks for when we eat our meals and our spoons and then i've got more forks in here i've got all of our plates in here and then I've got like my phone, matches, lighters, just miscellaneous stuff that you typically would just throw on a counter. We've got our knives in here, our coffee filters, and just more miscellaneous stuff. So it's great to have those to put all of those like small catch-all items that would normally just be strewn on the counters, if that makes sense. And then I just house our cutting boards in the middle and then some of our other cooking utensils on top. Now, like I said, they've got some lunch going, so typically when there isn't lunch going, this would be off as well as these things. <laughs> and this is what you would see. So in this basket, I've got all of our farm fresh eggs. They're, they do not need to be refrigerated, so we eat eggs pretty much every day while we're camping. And then I've got this awesome tool right here, which is it spins. It's from Pampered Chef. I'm sure you could find something similar to this off Amazon. And I use it to house all of my kitchen cooking tools. So things I used to cook with. And it's great. It's like a one-stop organizer for all of those smaller items. And they're super easily accessible. So I like that. And then I've got some matches here to light candles with at nighttime. And then I just glued the match scratchers on top of it. And so it just makes it so easy when I wanna to go to 
light a candle and it's also super cute too. I love this thing. I've used it for a couple of years now and I really like it. Yeah, it's great. Are you feeling better, buddy? I'm feeling so much better. Oh, I know. That's so awesome. All right, so this kind of looks like there's a lot going on, but I'll explain everything to you guys. This is normally our work surface, so what we use to like prep anything on. I try to do a ton of meal prep at home, and I will show you the video I made for that down below. I'll link it for you guys, but some things we do have to prep here and we've got the workspace to do that. I always like to keep our Coleman lantern out here. This is just battery operated, but it's really nice to have some extra lighting at nighttime. And my friend actually got me this candle this year when we got here, so. And then I've got another citronella candle, which I like to light at nighttime while I am making dinner. And then this is just my dog's dog food. I just set that out for now. Um, but. Normally we just have the toaster oven and then this collapsible tea kettle, which is amazing for camping. It takes up no space and this thing works awesome. So I will definitely link that down below for you. Right, <laughs> right behind it, we have these little canvas bags, which clips onto this pole perfectly. And I love these so much. I got them from Ikea. So our friend Ryan that's staying on our site with us, this is all of his toothbrush and toothpaste and then this is mine and my husband's toothbrush and toothpaste and that's where we keep it and then we have this larger one that we use to house all of our water bottles and coffee mugs in <laughs> and then behind it we've got um my oven mitts that I just hang from these hooks this Cabela's kitchen is great because it has all these hooks so I hang my dog's leash on it our mat for when we want to sit on the ground and then my oven mitts here I've got my paper towel that I just string around this little pole. We keep our avocado oil up here and then my husband made me this paper towel holder which I will link the video for how to make this yourself down below. But this has been such a game changer. This was the DIY project he did for me this year. It keeps the paper towels from flying around everywhere when it's windy so I love it. And then when we need a paper towel I can just pull it from the little the vibe that he created there. And then I've got all of my spices in this basket. And up here I found these hanging baskets in the dollar section at Target and I just put all of our fruit in there. This is our little coffee bar station. So sorry, there's some food prep here. But basically we just keep our frother. So we like to froth our milk for our coffee. I've got our coffee pot right here and then our coffee right there that we keep in this canister. I'm sorry about my dog. That we keep in this canister and then we've got our butter because sometimes we'll do bulletproof coffee and so I will link this butter dish down below for you. Alright you guys, so for some reason it didn't get my voice over on this video which you guys are probably all really happy about at this point because the background noise was like on another level. I'm so sorry. I tried to make it as good as I can, but it was just so hard filming when there was so much going on. But I'm basically just talking a little bit more about these food storage bags. This is where I store all of our food when we go camping in these canvas, these green canvas bags right here. And like I said, our campground does not have any bears, so we're able to just house all of our food in there and all of our cooking items, and it works great. And then my husband put this basket to the left there on the side of our um, coffee station, and we house some more like miscellaneous coffee, coffee items. And then in that white bucket, that's where we put all of like our miscellaneous stuff, like our extension cords and our power strips and all those things and then I just have my collapsible trash can right to the left of that and I will try to link that, find it and link it down below for you. But I do wanna say that I created a separate video that I will edit and upload probably in a few days for you guys on what I would do differently, what I'm going to keep at home or give away as far as all of my camping stuff goes and what I'm gonna buy for next year's camping trip to make it function a little bit better. Um, and you know, I'm sorry this video is just so extremely long. It's just because we camp for two weeks and there's just so much stuff that we need for two weeks out in nature.
<laughs> and that right there is our mini fridge and it has a separate freezer and we just set it on top of a crate that we use for storage when we're packing everything up but if you're able to get a mini fridge while you're camping it really is a game changer because it helps preserve all of those things like sour cream butter half and half things that don't always hold up as well in a cooler and then I'm able to freeze all of our meat, which is great. And then right to the left of that is my sink. I love this sink. When we first, for probably the first five years of our camping experience, I just did dishes in little wash bins on the ground. And it's so nice to be able to stand and do dishes in this sink area. It's just super awesome. So I would highly recommend a camping sink if you're able to do that, if you have a water hookup. And I will link this one down below for you. And in my second video that I'm gonna show you guys, my site looks a little bit more organized and set up a bit better, but hopefully this can like give you some ideas, you know? And I also have a dish drying mat that I use with just some soap and a sponge. And then we have something, my husband explained it in this video, but I didn't get it in. Um, but he got a black stone and we were able to cook all of our meals on that. That thing is awesome. I would highly recommend it. I will link this exact cooktop down below for you guys. But that's pretty much the gist of everything we bring camping. I'll also link the light fixture that I use to light up our canopy at nighttime in the description box below for you guys. But let me know what you think about this video. If you have any questions at all, please comment down below. And like I said in the beginning, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of my growing YouTube family. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Bye.